I went to school just like every other kid. I had a okay family, okay, I guess, life. Um, but unfortunately, behind closed doors, I had a very abusive uh, father. I have 57 scars on my body that until today I can tell you a story about each of them. So at the age of 12, I was working in a market helping people and uh, selling stuff in the streets and stuff like that. Unfortunately, that is the first time uh, that I was sexually assaulted. Uh, once that happened to me, I started. I decided to stop working on the streets and working for a company. And then uh, two men came into the restaurant about three months after I started working there, and came in, sit down, and you know, ate whatever. And then uh, um, it was time for me to go home. They had left, and all of a sudden they approached me as I was walking to the bus stop. And the last thing I remember of that night it was a wet tissue over my mouth and nose. And um, and next thing I know, I found myself in uh, in San Diego, California, where I was sold. Uh, into the commercial sex exploitation of children, um, I was uh, I was I was basically a sex slave for uh, for six months. I, I was trafficked uh, through uh, six different states. Um, after six months, I was uh, helped out of my situation by the police and placed in, in the foster care system in California. It, it saddens me that unfortunately we live in the 21st century and to see hum uh, slavery uh, throughout the world. It's still happening. It's still happening in forms that, are, that that really breaks individuals down to every, to to the bare minimum who they are. Um, it, it scares me, but at the same time, uh, invigorates me. Being here today at the UN and uh, sharing my message of hope is that understanding that you know we have 21 million people living in slavery-like conditions throughout the world. But understanding that those 21 million people, if they're taken out of the human trafficking situation, there's still hope that they will reintegrate back to society and be, become productive members of society who has overcome what happened to them. Our countries have to provide funding, has to provide, have a moral duty to help individuals throughout the world who have been victims of slavery.